Is anybody else confused? Confusion is no fun. I hate it actually, because I really like to know what I'm doing, how it needs to be done, and have clarity in the process of doing it. Still, no matter how much communication there may be, there are times of confusion. Think about a class where an instructor maybe gives you directions for a project. The instructor walks out and everyone looks around like a deer in headlights. <laughs> Minds are in a daze, not knowing how to begin. Preparing for school to start back this fall was a tad bit confusing. I filled out surveys, I got texts, automated calls and emails with all sorts of options and information. Once classes were about to begin, instructions and how-tos were sent out, laying out the new communication methods, new online systems, passwords that needed to be set, logins, and all of it ending out with, have a nice day. To say I was confused at times would be an understatement. Confusion can lead to anxiety, frustration, and you end up stalling out a bit because you aren't really clear on where to go or what to do. Confusion is not the character of God. And Paul speaks to it in the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 14, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. The church at Corinth had become quite confusing to sit through during worship. This is in a section of scripture where Paul is talking about gifts within the church. During this time, everyone was exercising every gift at the same time. Nothing can be discerned or understood, and the result was chaos. God is not a God that creates chaos. He looks into chaos and creates order. Nothing is without intention. That's the heart of any creator. Every step, every design, every gift is for a purpose. This verse gives me peace in many areas of my heart because it reveals God's heart for peace. I often remember this truth in anxious moments of chaos or frustration. God is not the author of confusion. I remember He is the God of peace. In this world, we are surrounded by confusion and chaos. We don't have to look very far to find it, but our hearts don't have to be ruled by it. The heart of God is never confused, chaotic, or in disarray. That's such good news. And as quickly as we can find chaos, we can see things through the lens of faith. And then the perspective becomes clear and full of hope. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, said, let not your heart be troubled. If your heart is troubled today and your life is filled with confusion, be still and call on Jesus. No matter how big the storm around us may be, friends or how crazy the world around us may get, with the words, peace be still, he brings order to our chaos. That's the truth. Let not your heart be troubled or your mind be confused by the noise. God's not in that. Lean into your faith and know peace. That's the story God writes. I'm Lori Klein.